Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Professor Richard Schneeman. This is week four of the Rails and Database Management class. We're going to start off with a quick recap. Two weeks ago, we talked about having database-backed models. This is simply having a, a Ruby class that enables us to persist data to a database. Very useful, uh, very uh, easy with active record. Then last week, we were mostly building views using pure Ruby. We used uh, ERB, we used some HTML, and uh, we had a fun exercise. So a recap on last week, uh, views are HTML and CSS as well as maybe some, some JavaScript thrown in there, but we didn't really talk about that. So this is an example of HTML uh, text in, within tags. So this is something that the computer can read and actually render into a web page for us. We can input ERB tags if we are using the ERB library with Ruby into our HTML, and this is a really easy way to add a, a scripting ability to your HTML. Uh, in this example, the ERB tag has an equal in front of it. So uh, we have the less than and then percent equal. That indicates that we are going to actually render the contents of this tag to our, uh, our document whenever we process it with, HT, or with ERB. Uh, and the inside of there, we have a string that is capital ERB. We can also use ERB tags without an equal sign. So on the first line, we are assigning a variable x equals a string of capital ERB. And here we do not have an, have an equal sign at the very beginning. So we are not going, although we are assigning x to the value of ERB, we are not going to put that onto the page. We're not going to um, render that in the final output. And then we have our HTML div, and then this is, and then another ERB tag, but this one does have the equal sign in it. So the contents of this ERB tag will be rendered to our final HTML. So here, the value of X is going to be the string we populated previously, the, the variable we set. So it's uh, going to be ERB, and the output is going to be this is ERB. All right, we also talked about arrays and iterating over arrays using the dot each method on instances. If we were just doing it on a raw array in the console, it might look something along the lines of this. If uh, you are a little fuzzy on it, maybe go back and watch the, the previous lecture on arrays or uh, try to redo the homework section where we used the iterator, iterators in arrays in ERB to generate HTML. And just a quick refresher on what that looked like, we had a array that we were iterating over and actually building up a list inside of our HTML. And the ERB would generate something that uh, kind of looked like that HTML. Finally, we talked about Git and GitHub as a great way to keep your files uh, backed up onto another location as well as uh, with Git we can do some things like rolling back in time, we can see changes, we can collaborate with multiple people. And in the homework we actually had you go and fork a, a copy of one of my Git repositories, then clone it to your local drive, modify it and then push it back up to your Git repository on GitHub. So hopefully you uh, learned a fair bit about uh, about Git. It's okay if you're not 100% comfortable with it, but we will be using Git quite a bit in the class, and it is definitely a mainstay for uh, for programmers, especially Ruby programmers. So all right, it is now quiz time. We have a quiz covering um, all the material up to this week. So go ahead and do that, and then whenever you're finished, you can check out the solutions and continue on with the rest of week four's class.